Yo, you know, you know, you know, you know who Bernie reminds me of? <laughs> a a wrinkly lord, a wrinkly bum, <laughs> the, the, the 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 huge dude from the new Star Wars movie. Have you seen the new Star Wars movie? I haven't. Oh, no, I have no spoilers. Okay, well, you, you no. know what I'm talking about. The, the big dude. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 the yeah. huge, the huge dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> From the Star Wars movie. Oh my He's God. an emperor. He's a yeah. Sith Lord. That's <laughs> it's, what it's, he is. It's, 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 that's his whole persona. <laughs> like, is he like that Jedi. that prince dude from uh, 300? That's like that Persian dude. That's like eight feet tall. No, 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 no. no. Uh, <laughs> if you haven't seen the, if, if you <laughs> have, actually seen, haven't seen Star Wars, I have not seen. Ah, uh, okay. The Star Wars. You know what? I'm gonna tell you one thing, and then and I'm not ruining anything. I feel like by telling you be about to ruin no it's thing. a good it's a good movie it's a good movie honestly. it's a great movie yeah it's a good movie. It's a good movie i didn't say it wasn't a great movie i said you're about to ruin something okay fine <laughs> <laughs> you know what we'll talk about star wars when you finally watch it get, i'll watch it get, get yourself a, to a theater i've seen all the other ones multiple times just get, get yourself to a theater all right I will. um I will do that. <laughs> bernie though recently he we were talking about this last week he he was basically the loser of uh this confrontation of big egos and uh the so-called type a personalities uh up in geneva <laughs> and uh the alpha males the alpha males the, the big dogs backs. the piranha club met <laughs> the silverbacks these are all the old guys <laughs> silverbacks. <laughs> yeah, these are the old guys they're all <laughs> leading their own tribes coming together for fuck's sake but he, bernie was a big loser um you you read the headlines out there but that's eventually you, what happens well, a younger gorilla comes in and beats that silverback's ass but remember remember what we <laughs> well remember when i when like, i said yeah, that bernie running this tribal bernie for now. sure wasn't gonna go down without putting up a fight yeah but bernie like he's he's still probably will go down when he dies as one of the uh, most the tenacious rock, negotiators in history Right, like the shit that he's gotten. This is the guy that, as part his of his divorce settlement, he got from his wife a yearly payment of a hundred million dollars. That is part of their divorce settlement. <laughs> Wait, he gets paid a hundred million he, dollars from from his ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> bye, bye, Mike. Good lord. Yeah, so <laughs> and we still got this EU Commission investigation yeah, to come up. We want to see how that, that's, that's what not kind gonna, of negotiator that, you really. Might no, no, no. That's that's all gonna get settled uh, uh, behind closed doors. We know that for sure. Yeah, but some stuff will leave. Yeah, if if Bern, like if Bernie thinks that he has a play, just because he's still like that, that was his way of saying that. Like, yo, we still have, we still got some teeth. We got, we got some fight back with this uh, EU Commission, but that's never gonna go through. Chimp, it's never gonna go through because fangs. because clearly the the manufacturers got what they wanted. All right. Mm. The sport is still in control of the manufacturers. That we know already, and it's going to be so until 2020. But what Bernie did get out of it is <laughs> what he managed to negotiate uh, Were the was plans for the Death Star. <laughs> that's what it seems like. Yeah. yeah, almost. Well, no, not really. Actually, oh. he st he still got some commercial streams. So did you just ruin Star Wars for me? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's like old. Star Wars is old Star. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Death Star is old Star. There's in fact two Death Stars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Sorry, but <laughs> anyway, um, so two things that that he managed to get out of it uh, is going to be, and you know, on the surface of it, you'd think it's like, oh, they're just like, you know, oh fuck, a, a dying sport's last breath of yeah. trying to like catch up with the youth. <laughs> um, but so what, what's going to happen is after every race or uh, during every uh, race yeah. week, uh, race day, there's going to be a vote for. Uh, driver of the race or driver of the day. You're mm -hmm. gonna have, you're gonna be able to like pick the driver of the day over social media, and uh, there's also gonna be a trophy for uh, pit stops, right? For best pit stop or quickest pit, pit stop. Whoa, that's something that has actually been really intense in the last few years. Yeah, but it comes like, comes with from four seconds to three to sub two second. Comes so with absolutely no monetary reward, just more than like a pat to the back uh, to, to, to the engineers. Like, it, but to them, even to them, like, yeah, like sure. uh, it, it, no, to them it doesn't matter. Like, mm. they, they don't like the um, Sky Sky Sports used to do that, right? Like they did that all of last year or no, the yeah. year before, where they presented a, a pit stop trophy. And like yeah. the pit guys were like, <laughs> like sometimes like they'd ask him live, be like, you know, what, what does this trophy mean to you? And they 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 outright be like, not much really. I mean, <laughs> other than other than we did well, I guess. 
Um, but <laughs> but if if you actually go like into like the implications of what these two things can mean is that eventually that could be another revenue stream for Bernie because he could he could for example say like oh he he could sell it to uh, to some sort of um, uh, a sponsor to like say like hey DHL do you want to call it the DHL driver of the day or the DHL pit stop trophy you know what I mean and that's just like. So Bernie and Bernie gets all that money. It's yeah. up to Bernie to like find that <laughs> that revenue stream, and he will. You know what I mean? Like he, like he, like it could be like the uh, uh, freaking Shell Oil driver of the day, but just as much as it could be uh, the I don't know Airbnb driver of the day. It's so something like that. Yeah, like what yeah, what yeah, NASCAR yeah. does. <laughs> what? Yeah, I guess it's a it's a mixture of that and the fan boost from Formula E type thing. Yeah, uh, without the actual boost. The the I mean. Obviously, the mechanics are like they're not gonna mind that you know that they're, they're getting a, a bit of a spotlight with this pit stop trophy, but it's not yeah, really sure. gonna mean anything more than like you know a transitory like hey cool yeah, but you know that like it's just gonna be a money maker. They change the tires a tenth of a second faster than everybody else. This year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It does kind of give some sort of recognition more so to pit crews. It, it's it yeah, yeah. It, it it brings maybe a bit more of a spotlight but that is that is kind of what Sky uh, tried to do at the very beginning when they took over the British coverage. Um, I don't I don't know if you remember, but the first year they kind of st- uh, tried to like bring a spotlight and try to make um, almost like celebrities of the mechanics and stuff like that. But <laughs> then they interview this these mechanics and they're all like from like deep within England. You know what I mean? Like they, they just yeah. have like that Oi! like they, yeah that like like. <laughs> Like you know, like their family very... just been fixing cars for a hundred years, and <laughs> <laughs> they're deep. They're from deep within the Midlands, and they have that. They sound like they are. Um, so they kind of quit yeah, that. Like don't, I don't, I don't, don't know if you give remember a shit like... about Twitter, basically, <laughs> or, or Sky TV. But it, it never materialized into something, right? Like it's, a, it's yeah. a, they they kind of tried to bring a spotlight to to the mechanics, and then it, that kind of died down. Mm. Maybe that's just because you know it's it's the way the sport is. It's yeah, not. They got it narrowed really, down. I mean, like Ted Ted talks to like two or three guys that he's buddies with. Yeah. If he bumps into them on his segment, but that's really it. Yeah, there's like there's gonna be like one or two that are like kind of popular, but they're not like. To the teams, like even even when we were looking about uh, l- looking into this, a lot of the teams hire the mechanics as um, part time contractors. Mm, yeah, sure. so that they can get away with like many 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 loopholes. Like remember when, when we were looking up the mechanics at Lotus, a bunch of them are just like under like these like like temporary contracts. Oh my they're, god, they're kind of expendable. Right, <laughs> like they're right. <laughs> they're not like. It, it's gotten to that point. For Maybe in the past it used to be that the mechanics were like a big deal and like you had like a sweet mechanic. But now that's sort of moved away from that and now you're talking about there's a star lead designer, uh, you know, James Allison, uh, Adrian Newey. There's no like star mechanics. There can't be really. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not, that's not what, it's reflected too of the auto industry. That's not what the auto industry is about anymore. Right. It's like robots, robots are making their cars. Robots. Robots. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not. Yeah. It's not the mechanics. Yeah, right. It's not yeah, gonna be absolutely. like the, like how it used to be. Like how like somebody like the the guy that I think the the guy that started Pinin Farina, the uh, the famous um, style house for Ferrari. Yeah, they do Ferrari and other things. But anyway, like it's like he was like he was just really good at like like banging like plates of metal to like into like nice sweet forms right but you don't need that anymore no, you no. like you have like uh, a composites robots. department that has like, automation yeah <laughs> exactly how do, has automation cnc machines going back to bernie though Best this in the world this this is a big big blow for bernie and uh one of the things yeah. that i think I, I briefly mentioned the last time um that it was significant that it happened in geneva and not in Paris, for example, where the where these things usually happen, because that's in Paris is where uh, the FIA is based out of at uh, the Place de la Concorde. Um, mm-hmm. That's where the Concorde Agreement names come from. Anyway, mm-hmm. etc. Um, it wasn't in Paris. Now, I don't know if you remember, but like I I quickly like got on the phone one time for like a few minutes with this guy that's the Canadian. Um, he, he's 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 a Canadian lawyer that is part of the FIA. Uh, International Court of Appeals. Mm. So, like these right. are these are guys that would, event, if if it came down to arbitration or like to legal settlement, any of the troubles in F one, these would be the the judges and the like the the legal panel that they have to explain their sides or whatever. Anyway, I, I was shouldn't, shouldn't say his name in case we get to right. Yeah, 
uh, whatever. I I talked to him very briefly about uh, what it, uh, what it came down to, like you know how how these things like happen in a very very general terms. He was he was gracious enough to accommodate me in his in. Uh, in his free time. Um, Meanwhile, he works probably for the FIA for like three hundred, four hundred dollars an hour. He, uh, no, dude, more than that. Maybe more, yeah. way more than that. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> he's one of those yeah. old, old, famous yeah. lawyers. Um, he's worked on like five or six Olympic games. Oh, et cetera, et cetera. yeah, he's he's Some been in. He's, he's actually World, like couple World Cups. He's deliberated on uh, trials for. Uh, uh, NHL doping scandals and shit like oh, that. Shit. Yeah, this guy's a big deal. Yeah. So, <laughs> crazy. yeah. So when I talked to him, what he, a world anti-doping agency. Uh, one one of the things that uh, that I really found curious is that he was it, when when I asked him like, so yeah, like yo, how do, how does this happen? Like you're basically like an on-call lawyer. Like when something like this blows up and they have to take it to arbitration, they basically call you and you gotta go and like jump in a plane and go to like go to somewhere and stay there until like things are resolved and like he said like yeah basically and <laughs> and, and and um it's usually in paris uh but then i was like oh like they but they like they just fly you to paris and like whatever and like that's it he's like no it doesn't have to be in paris it usually is in paris because that's where the fia is based and it's kind of like uh easy for everybody but and he said this very crucially he said but Sometimes we go somewhere else to, say, Geneva or Italy or something if there are specific circumstances that grant it. As in, if you know, if it's if it's you know more of an of 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 of, of a if the circumstances warrant it, some something like that. I I, I don't want to put it like I don't want to say that that's exactly what he said, but that that was his implication that mm -hmm. he meant that like if if there were special circumstances for it, they go they could go somewhere else. You know, if it was convenient more convenient for this party or for the other whatever but now based on that the fact that they went to geneva actually is important this stuff didn't get uh, settled in paris they would they would have loved to go to paris but paris the fia buildings that is not like it's clearly not neutral grounds anymore mm. they had to go to geneva to seek neutral grounds they weren't gonna go in the, to london because that would be that's Bernie's, uh, Bernie's backyard. Back, yeah. yeah, they weren't gonna go to Thank Paris you. because that's Jean Todd. They weren't mm -hmm. gonna go to Italy because that would be Marchionis. Yeah, Ferrari yeah. with the veto. They had to go. They had to seek neutral ground, and that is. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> to to, to Way settle up these in the mountains. <laughs> to settle Seek these negotiations. Refuge back in the mountains. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's but but you know <laughs> as we know now, uh, Marchione is winning. Bernie got a bit of money out of all this. Uh, with uh, 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 with these nonsense of uh, voting for a driver of the day and uh, and 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 uh, and the other pit stop stuff, um, and and we'll see. But I think that this is part of a bigger saga that's going on. This mm. is there, there. This is there's there's powers of play going on right now, um, in the way that F1 is being run and and and, and the way that F1 works. I um I don't know if like you guys remember, but like last year I started. Like one of the first things that we did was a spotlight on the F1 strategy group. Yeah. And one of, of, of the things that we that we basically concluded is that it was stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and and it really like there, there's there's nothing good that could come out of it. And if it did, like it's not gonna it's not gonna work to to, to save the sport for the way they, they not, yeah the way that they not want for it. everybody. Mm. And right now what we're seeing is a slow unraveling of that idea of the F1 strategy group because the F1 strategy group was basically brought about by Bernie so he could like find some sort of way to like still pretend to be democratic but um still at the end like try to like fight the teams and try to like regain control over F1 um it didn't work it yeah. hasn't it hasn't worked and and what happened just now it really really showed to everybody that and that Bernie does not have control over F1 not the way that he used to he not, has some yeah. control over F1 but not the way that he used to and he's he's even he's tried he tried his hardest to claw it back and no. Marcione was like nope nope <laughs> maybe we should show you a graphic <laughs> you pull up <laughs> no yeah <laughs> That, that that could be, but Some it's original it's, F1 artwork. It's true. I think I I can see the F1 strategy group either fading into irrelevance uh, in 2016 or just dissolving into something else. They're gonna turn it mm. into something else because it's right now. 
like Bernie thought that with the strategy group maybe he was he's gonna have a chance to grab these guys by the balls and like say like yeah this is what we're gonna do <laughs> and he hasn't been able to <laughs> no no yeah and Force India is one of the teams that brought this case to the EU but on this- presumably under Bernie's auspices you know presumably allegedly, allegedly. maybe allegedly I don't know. We'll see how it unfolds. I don't think. I don't think there's anything. Honestly, just the way because this basically all got settled. They're not. Um, so what was supposed to happen is that if nothing came out of these meetings in Geneva, um, they were gonna basically do a round two of that um, at the end of January with Bernie and Todd just being like, "This is what we're gonna do." It's not gonna get to that because they agreed. Hmm. The fact that they agreed uh, in Geneva that these were the terms that means that. The other meeting is not going to happen because it's already been sorted out. And it means that everybody at least agreed that that is how F1 is going to continue until 2020. For the for the, for the near future, this is how it's, F1 is going to be, mm. right? Now Bernie has like a clear mandate to try, like he's, he's, he's going to try to do whatever he can to claw power, but, <laughs> but it's not going to be like it's... He's left with very few tools to do so, if I can put it that way. You know what I mean? He, he can only like extract money so many uh, ways, and he's going to be forced to give it to the manufacturers just like he has been. His strings have been cut, Yeah, yeah. if I could put it that way. <laughs> I like you wanna, that. You want to you quickly like, like put that image up? I think it's, it's, oh, it's a pretty... It's, it's, uh, oh, you guys can't see it. Hold on. I just have it on the main page. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. I don't have it. No worries. That. That's all right. It's on the thumbnail. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> the strings have been cut, Bernie. Yes. <laughs> Look at that ring <laughs> And um, I think other than that, it's definitely going to be a topic to watch uh, throughout the year uh, to to see what 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 Bernie's actually going to get up to. Uh, I really do hope that he keeps he realizes that the focus now is going to be on trying to put the content out there uh, the, as best he can mm-hmm. uh, using the new media. Mm-hmm. Because honestly, like this, this is probably this, this, this loss of power uh, from Bernie didn't come for no reason. It was right. clearly um, Marchione and the, the, the car manufacturers are probably saying, listen, like the, the winning argument was probably like, listen, you still not haven't proven that you can manage the new media. You right. haven't you haven't <clears> been <throat> able to. We not even close. Yeah, but, close. but but and but you the, got a little bit crazy with the extra engine bullshit. Yeah, uh, but the car manufacturers have like you could say that they are like somewhat successful at, mm-hmm. and they, like, that, that maybe they understand social media and the new media and in the internet oh, age a little I, more than Bernie. Well, they would, Thanks. They would oh, have yeah. to, especially Red Bull. Red Bull, oh, yeah. Red Bull. Have you ever been to Red Bull's YouTube page? It's amazing. Yeah, you can be entertained for hours. It's nothing but ridiculousness, like yeah. the most extreme things you've ever seen. They jumped from space and what? The list goes on. Most of the teams have social media covered. Look at like for Ferrari's car unveiling. They have hundreds or thousands of people involved like stuck for weeks trying to win a uh, chance just to get one of the first and, 10 people to see it. And man, this is what uh, even like a seasoned veteran Nobody even knows when the race is starting. You know? <laughs> True. Because, of Ber- because of Bernie, people yeah. should know Australia is coming mm-hmm. March 21st. Absolutely, yeah. But yeah, this, is, this is what I mean. Like, this, this is why people um, like, you know, seasoned journalist Joe Sayward say that maybe maybe it's actually a good thing that the manufacturers are in control of F1. Right. Maybe it is. Right. 